Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having the most amazing moment. Like, I'm not gonna say day because like we need to take things minute by minute, hour by hour. So I'm hoping you're having a good present moment. If you are new, my name is Sebastian and I do videos every single day. So if you're looking for a messy best friend who you can spill tea with and hang out with, honey, you have found him. So make sure you subscribe. It helps me out a lot when you subscribe. And it really, really just means so much. And don't forget to give the video a like and comment below. Girl, we need to talk about James Charles at the fucking Grams. I cannot with James Charles. Like, listen, it's not even like about anything. Like, I feel, why am I turning? Where the fuck am I going? It's not about like, you know, but I just like, I like, there's something about his, and I, girl, listen, I don't believe in violence. There's something about him. I just want to like bump him and like, I wouldn't say push him to the floor because that's like aggressive, but I just want to be like, move. You know, like, not even that. No, that's not real. Like, no, I just, I don't, I can't. Like, he annoys me, right? And like, what annoys me, like, before all of these allegations came about, like, no, you know what? I wouldn't bump him. I wouldn't do anything. Uh, I wouldn't do anything aggressive. I would just go to him. I would look him up and down and I would say, that's all. And leave. Very like Devil Wears Prada, you know? Because we should not bump or touch anybody. That's what we should not fucking do, Sebastian. So let's not get canceled over bumping James Charles, bitch. But you know, he has... Oh, you know what? Let me just stop, bitch. Um, but anyways, <laughs> you see, I just like... I go around in circles, bitch. Um, no, what was I going to say? Bitch, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So like, he just annoys me. But anyways, what I think he knows a lot of people. But you know what? He was at the fucking Grammys tonight. Well, I don't know if he was at the actual Grammys, but he was like at like a party event official for the Grammys. And he stood there, took a picture with the backdrop. And people are not having a bitch. People are like, why is he in the Grammys instead of being in jail? Like when I tell you how many people are coming for people like him, Addison Rae, for being at the Grammys, it is insane. Now listen, Addison Rae did a movie with Netflix, right? Addison Rae did her song, Obsessed. I gotta say, you know what? They say you're obsessed with me. So I took a second and I said me too. Poof. I'm obsessed with me e -e, as much as you. I, I mean, that song honestly was not that bad. Um, I kind of understand why she was at the Grammys in a way, but not really. But like James Charles, I'm like, girl, what is happening? Um, but the fact that like people, like let me tell you guys something. People really, really want him in jail. Like I can't tell you how many comments I saw on Twitter saying things like he belongs in jail. Um, instead of being at the Grammys, they should have him arrested. He should be on lockdown somewhere, like all of these things. And, you know, I w when I was reading those Twitter things, I, you know, I had like a moment, like a Carrie Bradshaw moment. Like, I can't help but wonder that like James Charles, I don't think he could ever really bounce back. Like, of course he still has his fans. His videos still do pretty freaking good, right? Um, and he's still, you know, he's still somewhat big, I guess, but like no one in the industry wants anything to do with him. Like his friends are other influencers because before he used to have like the Kardashians and like singers and, you know, people that actually like were famous, you know, doing things with him. But now like nobody wants to be associated with him because of his reputation. So like my question is like, could James Charles really ever have like a, a comeback? Like, could he actually m come back and and be cleared of everything? And to be very honest, I don't think so because like even if like the people who accused him came out and said like, oh, I was lying, they're gonna say that he paid them off. Like once you are, once you are placed under that of a predator, you're done. Like, you're done, you're done, you know, you're done. You know what I mean? And like, he's not as popping as he was before. Like everyone dropped him, right? So like, what can he do? I guess he can try and like climb his way back, but like, I can't imagine Kris Jenner or the Kardashians bringing him back 
publicly. Maybe privately they talk, but publicly? You think Kris Jenner's gonna fuck with her paycheck because of fucking James Charles? <clears throat> oh, I don't think so, right? Um, but you know what, James Charles just gives me, honestly, like, look, I'm not even trying to be mean, but he gives me the creeps. Like, the way he just, like, carries himself, you can tell that the only video I'll tell you that sort of moved me, I think it was, like, a video where he surprised his dad, uh, that they were gonna go to the mountains and his dad cried or something. And he also, he's, you know, um, he paid off his parents' mortgage. Like, those things, I'm like... I think they're great. But there's always this just like assholey vibe from James Charles before and after the accusations. He just seems so fucking annoying. You know what I mean? Um, he just, he doesn't seem very, he doesn't seem very, um, what, what is that word I'm looking for, bitch? He doesn't seem very like relatable. You know what I mean? He just doesn't. and. He seems mean, like, no, not mean. He seems just like a fucking douchebag. And like, I think the number one thing that like social media influencers forget whenever they get money and fame and followers is humility leaves their bodies. You know, like there is no more humbleness there. There's not an ounce of humbleness. And everything they do, it has to be done on camera. Like, again, the mortgage, paying the mortgage, filming their reaction, filming the reaction of the dad that you're taking him on vacation. Like those things I feel like aren't great, but again, like I get it, they're influencers, you have to put all your life, you know, on display. But I don't know you guys, I'm not convinced with James Charles and I honestly, I don't think that he could ever really have like a great, great successful career anymore. I don't see it happening. Do you guys? Like, do you honestly think people are gonna mess with James Charles again? I, you know? Cause like, nobody's gonna wanna be associated. Now the only thing is like, you know, let's say he's completely innocent of everything. And these people who made these accusations come, come out and say, look, we lied for clout. Will you guys believe that? Because when Michael Jackson, that thing happened and, and that one fan said that he made it up, nobody believed that he made it up. Everyone believed that he was paid off. You know what I mean? So this is just like a, oof, it just gives me like weird fucking vibes. You know what I mean? I never understood that, but I, that's just, you know, something else, bitch. But I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think James Charles could have a really successful comeback? Do you think he belonged at the Grammys? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. I am, I say this in all my videos, but I truly am so incredibly thankful for each and every one of you. Give yourselves a hug because you made it through another fucking video of this mess. I love you guys. I'm thankful for you guys. Have a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh, mwah.